Hey Homestead Prepper, this is going to be part one. I'm going to show you guys my homemade bogey trailer. I have a very heavy weight to move a short distance. I want to do it economically. One way I can do it economically is use these mobile home axles. I picked these up off of Craigslist for $50 each, which is pretty affordable. Comes with all the hardware. I had to grind that one off because I have to move it. These uh, axles they say are rated somewhere these are three inches this is a three inch axle as are they all are rated somewhere between three thousand five thousand six thousand pounds there seems to be a lot of information on the internet none of it's consistent what I'm going to be doing to fortify this is uh, I remember reading a comment that BC truck left for Ironhead 41 I don't even remember the video but he said that if you want really strong trailer axles you weld a piece of angle iron right down the center of it and you will not bend them so probably going to be doing that I was thinking about making an equipment trailer if I was going to do that I would replace these I would put six or eight lug hubs on here so I could mount conventional trailer tires instead of mobile home tires this one right here has electric brakes on I don't know if it works I'm not going to be using them because I'm not going to be going 70 miles an hour down the interstate right now if I do build an equipment trailer then of course it will have electric brakes uh, these mobile home axles are actually adjustable you can see that right there see how that moves in so that's why I cut this piece down here I need these exactly eight feet to center the center axle is right on the money this one over here I've had some trouble trying to pull it apart so I'm using a little um, motivational tool here I got a wood spacer I moved it out probably about two well I guess about that far Let's see if we can move it out a little bit more I guess that's far enough for right now y'all got the idea okay well if y'all have any questions or if there's anything you can add to this it would be greatly appreciated like I said this is part one part two I hope to be a little farther along this is the homestead prepper out